Throughout all of history, humanity has wondered about the future. Since the beginning of time, we have consulted the oracles, the prophets, the astrologers, the witch doctors, the shamans, and the soothsayers. Here in the 21st century, is there anyone we can turn to for guidance? The Hopi Indians in the southwestern United States are thought to be the oldest inhabitants of North America. The Hopi have an ancient prophecy that sheds light on the choices that lie ahead of us. This rock drawing shows part of the Hopi prophecy. There are two paths. The first, with high technology, but separate from natural and spiritual law, leads to these jagged lines representing chaos. The lower path is one that remains in harmony with natural law. Here we see a line that represents a choice, like a bridge joining the paths. If we return to spiritual harmony and live from our hearts, we can experience a paradise in this world. If we continue only on the upper path, we will come to destruction. Well, here we are in front of Prophecy Rock in Hopi Land, an ancient carving which shows the two potential paths of humanity one which leads to destruction, and one of which leads to peace and freedom in the future. Connie, what would you like to say? Well, this prophecy is, is a very interesting one because it really explains our free will. Here we have the path of peace. The, they, they call it the Hopi Way, but it's the path that's aligned with universal law. And here is the path that's separate from universal law that leads to destruction. The one, the, there, there, the path of peace goes on around the rock, all the way around the rock. And here is a bridge where people can go from one path to the other. And I believe this is free will, that we have the free will to walk out of alignment with universal law, or we have the free will to walk this path of peace. And I think as soon as humanity comes to understand that it's really our choice that has led to the world that we live in, that we will, in fact, choose another way and stop blaming others for our condition. So this connecting link here, if you were up here and you were on the path to destruction, there's the yeah. option to make the change yeah. and to transition into the, the Hopi way or the, or the path of peace. And also, if you're on this path, you could fall from the path and go this way. Right. And this is, this, is our, this is free will. You're right. This is the essence of, of, of the free will yeah. of humanity. Exactly. So I think it's very significant and very important. And once humanity truly understands that, that, and once they get the information about universal law, what universal law looks like, what the true nature of the universe is, which has to do with a conscious, loving, interconnected universe where humanity is so loved by all of creation that we are given everything we ask for, that it is in fact a uh, a loving universe that's responding to our requests that creates our reality.
So, we saunter toward the Holy Land, till one day the sun shall shine more brightly than ever he has done, shall perchance shine into our minds and hearts, and light up our whole lives with a great awakening light, as warm and serene and golden as on the bankside in autumn.